like saving money at the grocery store. It's one way to help keep my family's budget in check. And something new I'm going to use to help save money on groceries is a price book. A price book is nothing more than a notebook, an address book, a computer program, or an app that you record prices of frequently bought items. By recording regular and sale prices in a price book, you can always make sure that what is advertised is a good deal and make sure you're getting the best price. To start a price book, you need to decide what will work best for you. I'm going to use a notebook because I had an extra one in my desk. Whatever you decide to use, find a way to divide it into categories of food, like dairy, fresh produce, and meats. Next, start adding entries under each category. Listing the groceries you buy frequently is a great place to start. For example, for my family, under dairy I have skim milk, yogurt, shredded cheese, block cheese, cheese slices, string cheese, cottage cheese, and butter. Feel free to include any other items you want to track too, even if you only buy them for special occasions. Next, fill in details for each item. Include as much information as you want, such as the regular price, store, size, and unit price. Then, as you find sale prices for each item, you can record them in your book. This is easy if you go through the store ads every week. Each week, you'll be able to see if the advertised price is a good deal or not. As you use your price book, you may start to find one store has consistently lower prices and you weren't getting the deals you thought you were. You can also see if a price is really a good deal and something you should stock up on. With your price book in hand, you can start saving money consistently every week by getting the best possible prices on the food you buy.